tell me if this is correct if uh, if i am a uh, if i am a reasonably competent lawyer see i understand that i have to up my game and be good i have to market myself i have to hustle and provided i do all of this could i if, if i am good at it could i expect to earn 40 50000 a month which is i think kind of i think uh, yeah, yes, and, I think, and i think it's right. also very important and um, this is something that she emphasizes a lot on is uh, the people you work with i mean you are in the i'll give you an example i'll give you sorry to cut her i'll give you an example like for example i know this one young lawyer who was working with a senior and one client comes ask that senior to give a legal opinion now for that legal opinion that senior took 10 lakhs rupees which was drafted and studied by that person and the junior and uh, the person senior took 10 lakhs rupees for that and the one who actually did the hard work got very minimal um, you know something like that. so sometimes in this profession it's not a very fair thing you know there it could be that things are unfair because you know ultimately a person who's working hard they are like you know i am the one who's working hard and someone else is taking the credit so these kind of situations do happen okay but that's a learning process we can't help it it's nothing in our control that's the person who's that is why it is very important to know the people who are you dealing with mm. the people who are you working with they shouldn't exploit you right that is one thing also is absolutely she is absolutely right about this because there are so many people i mean i know personally people who graduated with me a few your senior um few of them are working with very reputed persons for 20 25000 a month and they are working about 12 15 hours a day and but i think that is more unfair. of a norm right it is more of a norm that you get paid 25000 and you work i think so um, that's that's a little exploited because most of these but that people, is the norm like that is what but the norm mean. norm is made by us right sure it's people can change it i mean i can tell you personally again we are reiterating mr tulsi's name because he paid us really well right he provided us food but that's very really exceptional isn't yeah, it yeah he even paid for our fuel he even day. paid for our fuel he also uh, yeah I, I mean, mean when uh, it it makes you it's a conducive and comfortable environment to work in mm-hmm. so that when you're sitting and you're going to work there aren't there are few things that you don't have to worry about and you just have to focus on being productive on the other hand this norm that law the young lawyers need to have to be underpaid it's something that we've created i think because we we are all very well aware of the fact that a few of the designated and very reputed um advocates and solicitors they are paid handsomely per appearance for every opinion for every conference for every time they settle a draft and i, I don't think it would really hurt if the yeah, juniors are paid a little more comfortably because it won't but it's uh, it's very interesting that you know lot of first uh, there are many very reputed advocates who are charging in my many crores do not actually pay anything to their juniors exactly that's what exactly you were so like um, so you know so besides that if you can like uh, uh, if you can tell a little about the experience of going in anyway like people when they are uh, you know they are hoping to learn something and that argument from the advocate side is that you know the juniors who are joining them have to be taught they know nothing they contribute very little and when they can't start contributing we will pay them accordingly so this has been the argument usually so any thoughts on that but i think that's called an internship yeah so that's pretty much how juniors it's it's you have 3 years or 5 years as per your course to go out and work for free as much as what is your experience on the people who are joining from college to the profession on their uh, ability to I contribute i think some people i have come across with are brilliant and they are exceptional even while they are just interns and they are just in law school sure and you can't generalize that every person who has a degree knows how to practice law 
and there is no guarantee that even five years in the profession and you will be able to even deliver one argument in court. That is entirely your ability. So if, no, if, if the argument is, from and I'm coming to that, if the argument is that they have to be taught everything from scratch, mm. then don't hire these people. 